Let's toss it over to Joe Tige of Equity Armor Investments. And Joe, what is your financial forecast for this year and how critical is the Fed? Yeah, thanks, Angie. Uh, it's going to be an interesting year, to say the least, uh, starting with the Fed. Now, the Fed usually leads the market, and we're expecting to see some tightening going on this year. And uh, re with regards to the Fed, the past 10 years, the market's gotten used to a so-called Fed put. Uh, the idea if the market falls, the economy halts, uh, the Fed will be there with some big time stimulus. Now, uh, the problem is when interest or when inflation gets really high, uh, the Fed has fewer and fewer options available to them because they want to keep inflation down. Now, the Fed has admitted that inflation is not transitory. So uh, the caution that I'm looking at is uh, if there is a market correction, if the if there is some sort of a economic uh, uh, slowdown, the Fed will have fewer tools available to them to uh, turn the economy around. What about airline stocks? New traders tend to jump into those shares as a possible easy trade to make money when airline stocks are down. But airlines can go down even more, and that sector tends to move with the economy. So airline stocks sometimes rise when the economy is good, fall when it's not so good. But now traders have to consider COVID. Yeah, for me, I'm looking at avoiding them until we get to about April. I, I don't see a lot of positive news for them until we can get past uh, the seasonal flu season and seasonal COVID season. Uh, hopefully, they look better then. And um, uh, for me, I don't see any bounces expected. Now, that said, uh, if they do get to a point where people are ahead of that sell-off, I might step in uh, if they become super attractive. But I don't see that yet, and I don't see uh, anything changing with the COVID situation anytime soon. Well, thank you, Joe, for your financial forecast. Thanks for having me. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.